Shalom. Love from love. Hope from hope. Peace from peace. Welcome to Flames of Eliza UFOs. It's time to blast off. Will you leave the safety of the shore and come out with me? You might have fun. Here we go. So welcome and love from love. And these are the days of Elijah, the days of new understandings. All things will be restored as it is foretold in the Word of God. Uh, and welcome to this program. And uh, if, if you are unaware of uh, JVI in Troy, Michigan, faithfully for many years, Jack Van Empey Ministries has been a faithful witness. And I highly esteem Jack and Rex Sella, uh, who has carried on with uh, some of the programming in Jack's absence since Jack has gone into glory. I, I'm proud of one thing, that if Jack were with us, the Chrislam that the Lord has given me, Jack would approve of because uh, it was foretold in Isaiah 62 too that Israel would receive a brand new name. And their name that God has picked is Chrislam. That is Israel's new name. This is um, of the kingdom age. And uh, it has been given to them because they have now inherited all mankind. Isaiah 54, 3 predicted this. In the days of Jeremiah 31, 1 coming forth, it is written that in the latter days, God would give their kingdom age covenant unto Israel, and that he would be the Lord God of all families of Israel, from the least to the greatest, and uh, that they would have a new name. Uh, and that's because they've inherited all the Christians born again, and uh, this totally uh, removes all distortionality of the understanding of born again. It's never been to believe, it's been to have our love. Jesus said, if it, it counts what he says, when born again, when it comes to that, you can't even tell. He said it's like the wind. You don't even know where it's blowing. And the Bible has told us, don't lean unto your own understanding. Now, so what did we do? We went and defined, well, oh, you were born again as soon as you believed. No, no, no. Many are going to say, Lord, Lord. And he's going to say, I don't even know you. Get away. Uh, because if we let our love die, there's nothing. We're hollow. He is love living in each and every one of us. And those who love are born of God, born again, and know him because God is love. But Jack Van Empey, uh, he was very um, uh, well spoken about the whole subject of UFOs. And uh, so I welcome to this reading of uh, Flames of Elijah. And know that within his uh, show, uh, Jack Van Empey presents, it's been broadcast over 160 nations throughout the earth. And it's it's long been clear that Van Empey has also been a believer of extraterrestrials. And it's been a, a matter of public record that this well-respected minister before he left into to glory, and he's always been a leading prophecy expert. And he's been quoted as saying this, quote, uh, he says, angels, both holy and fallen, good and bad, are flying around our world in spaceships, and they come in mechanical ships of high technology, quote, end quote. Even his book, God's Promises of Prophecy, points towards unidentified flying objects and their occupants as being both naturally supernatural and supernaturally natural. But just as Billy Graham has implied, Jack Van Empey goes a step farther by identifying those little infamous little green men uh, as being part of God's very diverse creation. And I, I'm there too. They are brothers of other mothers. <laughs> Think of uh, all the fish in the sea. Some don't resemble each other hardly at all. But they all have gills, and they, they got eyes and hands, and so it's it's funny, but it's true. And so he went a step further, and nor does uh, Jack Van Empey, nor did he ever find it necessary to apologize to anyone 
for his alien beliefs since they are Bible-based. He also stressed that it's been his opinion that there have been millions of demonic spirits and possibly billions that are filling our heavens with the real eerie presence uh, uh, and ever blinking lights. People, these orbs that people are seeing floating around in the heavens, it's happening all over the globe. People are seeing these things happening uh, all over the place. And it's time that we need to get a handle on what is happening. And this doctor of uh, theology, Jack Van Empe, he noted that several years ago, a very strange UFO happening came forth in disguise over some future shock generation to watch the web's uh, YouTube. Uh, it was then a time, it, it was a time when the extremely rapid speed of those spacecraft could easily have stopped, uh, stopped any stopwatch and uh, broke the watch. It was also a time when many scientists declared that those kind of amazing accelerations were far beyond any technology that we've had. Um, uh, there's a UFO, uh, uh, you could uh, Google it, you could see it. New Jerusalem uh, Dome of the Rock UFO, it'll pop up. And you watch this thing, it was sitting on the top of the Dome of the Rock, and when it took off, it was like you could hardly see it. There has never been a rocket that we've made that anywhere near that speed. Uh, the G-force wouldn't break your neck. It was just like immediately. Uh, so uh, he also noted this. He said that those silver streaks were far too f fast for blinking eyes to even see in some cases. And even to this day, people all over the circle of Earth, uh, they can easily see alien craft over the internet going at such incredible speeds that someone would probably break their neck uh, if they ever dared to let their eyes follow the unusual trails in the expanse as those chariots of the gods raced above millions of mystified minds much faster than any speeding bullet ever went. As a result of uh, the advanced propulsion technology of such alien zippy kind of spacecraft, Dr. Jack Van Empe further emphasized that it's, it's impossible for humans to travel at such incredible speeds without being instantly killed from the gravitational force that would put out many people's lights much faster than any candle could ever be snuffed out. And those alien machines were able to drop thousands of feet in, in, in but a single second. Uh, and that scholar of prophecy, he went on to quote Ezekiel 116 uh, in his book where we read that the wheels or body of the prophet's uh, space traveling chariot, it's called the chariot in the Bible, were like burl. And very interestingly to say the least, Jack also spotlighted the modern day fact that a derivative of such mineral called beryllium is one of the main elements that's now being used in spacecraft to help them to be able to withstand the very intense heat of re-entry onto Earth and the enormous amount of friction from outer space uh, that travel always brings. And it's interesting that the Bible says that it was like beryl, and that is what we are using is beryllium and uh, in modern uh, uh, our, our, our vehicles. So, uh, amazing stuff. And according to Revelation 12, 7 to 12, Van Empe has rightly felt that a global invasion of demonic visitors from our great beyond is swiftly getting ready to come forth. And he always urged people to be cautious and to be, uh, to have understanding. And there are many other men uh, of the non-tattered cloth that fully agree with him, including myself. Um, and former presidential candidate Pat Robertson of the 700 Club was also very like-minded when he asked this question. He asked, quote, Can a demon appear as a slanty-eyed, funny-looking creature? And then he answered, and he said, Of course he can. Of course he can. Or, or it, it can. 
Oh, of course, they can deceive people. And if they can lead someone away from the true God or away from Jesus Christ, any way it happens, it doesn't matter. You will lose your salvation. And now, I don't, I don't believe that for a second. I disagree with that, but that's got nothing to do with UFOs. But we cannot lose our salvation unless unless we let our love light go out. Jesus said, all sin will be forgiven us, except the unforgivable sin, letting our love light go right out. And uh, it, so it's, can we lose our salvation? Only blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Um, so anyways, Pat says, it doesn't matter how they get you, the aliens. The question is, did they get you? And under what guise will they get you? Uh, Will you be deceived in your mind, is what he was asking. Uh, he says, for it's written therein that the gods uh, that have not made the heavens and the earth, th that, uh, that we would discover the judgment of God Almighty in the time of their visitation. And the, the writer of The Cross and the Switchblade, David Wilkerson, uh, also predicted a great UFO uprising. Uh, and he added his extremely prophetic voice uh, concerning those extraterrestrials. Not only did he accurately foresee dozens of people killing themselves over their delusional UFO beliefs, but he additionally foresaw the days when people would look up a uh, live UF report over Berlin uh, on their web, and they would sh see a shocker of their lifetime. Uh, Reverend Wilkerson therefore said that there would be major sightings uh, over more than 50 cities, and this has already happened, and there's no doubt that he foresaw these events with events as being a uh, gateway unto, uh, unto Armageddon. But, you know, praise God that uh, we can get ahead, and we will never... Uh, no weapon formed against us will prosper. And uh, restraint has been used with these individuals in regards to us. And I imagine that we can judge the future from the past, but what we cannot judge is the increasing alarm of the activity that is so exponential. The numbers have, uh, they're just multiplying like, like millions of rabbits on, on a stairway. <laughs> anyway, love from love. Until next time, people.